get stuck on the trip the way I do. Bringing it up every day, trying to get Magda to commit. Maybe I was getting tired of the fighting, or maybe I had gotten this idea in my head that if Magda said, yes, we are going, then shit in the end would be fine between us. And if Magda said, no, it's not for me, then at least I know that it was over. Her girlfriend, the sorest losers on the planet, <laughs> told her, advised her to let me pay for the trip and then never to speak to me again. <laughs> she, of course, told me this shit because she couldn't stop herself from telling me everything she was thinking. I asked her, how do you feel about that suggestion? And she said, it is an idea. <laughs> Even my boys were like, nigga, it sounds like you are wasting your money on a whole lot of bullshit. <laughs> but I really thought that this would be good for us. Deep down where my boys don't know me, I am an optimist. And I thought, me and Magda in Santo Domingo, what could this not cure? <laughs> Let me confess, I love San Domingo. I love coming home to the guys in the blazers trying to push little cups of lugar into my hand. I love the plane landing, everybody clapping when the wheels kiss the <laughs> runway. I love the fact that I'm the only nigga on board without a Cuban link or a flapjack of makeup on my face. I love the redhead woman on the way to see the daughter that she has not met in 11 years. The gift she holds on her lap, like the bones of a saint. Mi hija has dad dots now, the woman whispers. The last time I saw her, she could barely speak in sentences, and now she is a woman. Imagina de. I love the bags that my mother packs, Shit for all our relatives, and something for Magda, a gift. You give this to her, my mother says, no matter what happens. If this were another kind of story, I would tell you about the sea. What it looks like after it's been forced into the sky through a blowhole. How when I'm driving in from the airport and see it like this, like shredded silver, I know that I am back for real. And I would tell you about how many poor motherfuckers there are. More albinos, more cross-eyed niggers, more thigators, more beggars than you will ever see. And I would tell you about the traffic, the entire history of late 20th century automobiles, of cosmology of battered cars, battered motorcycles, battered trucks, and battered buses and an equal number of repair shops run by any fool with a wrench. And I would tell you about our shanties and our no-running water faucets and the sambos on our billboards and the fact that my family house comes equipped with the ever-reliable latrine. And I would tell you about my abuelo and his gampo hands and how unhappy he is that I'm not sticking around for longer and I would tell you about the street where I was born, Calle 21, how it hasn't decided yet if it wants to be a slum or not, and how it's been in this state of indecision for years. But this would make, but that would make this another kind of story, and I'm having enough trouble with this one as it is. <laughs> you are going to have to take my word for it. Santo Domingo is Santo Domingo. So let's all pretend we know what goes on there.